doing a swing, bada. I can't really take responsibility for what that was about. I don't know why I said coming a swing, bada, but this is the Bolt Backpack from Waterfields Design. Handmade bags from San Francisco. I'm in love. I got my uh, my business shirt on because this is a very businessy kind of bag to me. You don't have to be super businessy to be into it, obviously. However, this is like the ultimate, like you know, like tech CEO, maybe baby boomer or Gen Y or X or something like that. This is a very stylish bag. So I'm gonna walk you through every pocket on this bag and talk about all the features, but first, here's my gist on this bag. So number one, the size is right. If, if you like, if you're looking at the size and you're like, yeah, that's a good size, it looks like it's about the right size for me, then uh, then this is the kind of, then, it, then the size is right for you. What I mean is, uh, like you could fit, for me pers personally, it is the perfect size for a daily carry bag it's exactly what i need to fit i don't want it bigger than this i don't want it much smaller than this i could do with a little bit smaller than this but this is like perfect size for me and i think a lot of you probably feel the same way i love how like literally crappy my little water bottle looks and this thing's like fucking indiana jones and then i've got like hey what's going on you guys can i come to the party too i'm the camelback water bottle what you don't like my neon green see-through plastic if i was using this bag every day i would definitely be using a different water bottle so the size is right that is point number one number two is this every time you use this bag you will get the feeling that you are using an extremely well-made object. I don't know if you've had this feeling very much in your life. To be honest, I haven't had it very much in my life, but as I'm getting older, I am appreciating it more and more. To be able to have a like really well-made object, a well-designed thing, something that someone has thought about for you, right? When you hold this handle, when you use these zippers, when you get into this magnet, how do magnets work? This magnet leather thing to get your quick access, something, something. When you realize and remember, because you forgot that there's this dope little zipper pocket that you keep forgetting about because it's hidden away so nicely. When you use this water bottle pocket and then you forget that on the other side is another water bottle pocket for, for like a smaller water bottle or for your umbrella or something. And you realize that they went, we're gonna have two different sized things on this bag because they do two different things. For all of these reasons, when you interact with this bag, you'll go like, oh my God, I am working with a considered object. I am working with, I am using, my, your fingers will know it when you touch the materials and stuff too. I'm working with something that's really nice. Okay, that's point number two. Right, and it's probably the biggest one on this list for me because there's nothing that can upgrade your life more than changing your your daily carry for something that is actually really, really thoughtful and your fingers and your brain and your gonads all know it. So number three, as I mentioned, the materials are so dope. The build quality is so dope. It is a very well constructed bag. And then number four, it has some of my favorite organization Ever. I'm serious. Not only are the materials dope, not only is the form factor right, not only does it feel like everything is considered and thoughtful, but the considered and the thoughtfulness that you will experience when you use this bag is precisely the kinds of organization that's in it. Now, I'm going to walk you through every pocket and nook and cranny of this bag. So, you know, have no fear. You're going to get into all the, all the places. You're going to know exactly if this is the right bag for you or not. But I want you to know that it is one of my favorite organization setups for my daily carry. And I think probably for a lot of us out there. It's just thoughtful. It's just really considered. Okay, I'll put the bag on again. Again, I am 5'10", about 5'10". It sits nice and comfortably. There's no sternum strap and there's no way to attach a sternum strap. That would look a little too techy, a little too dangly, I think. So I'm glad that they don't have it in there. This is so funny wearing my like dress up shirt <laughs> to do the dress up bag. I used to wear shirts like this. I used to have to go like be a part of like meetings and stuff. Okay, let's talk about this bag. Let's just go around the outside of the bag, starting with the back. First of all, 
<clears throat> this is really made for you professionals out there. This goes right over your handle for your roller bag and the, ba the bag works like perfectly on top of that big thick strap padding uh, thing right here. So it is it is killer for that. Nothing fancy or special about, I would say, the, the back in terms of like air channel flow design, but it is nice that you've got mesh instead of straight up waxed canvas that's up against your back. Straps are solid. They just feel solid. They're nice straps. Handle at the top of the bag has this fancy dope ass leather. I think it's like bison leather or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, and it feels really good. The same leather that's on the bottom of the bag and it feels really good. Okay, you've got water bottle pocket and I think maybe probably an umbrella pocket. It's definitely smaller. My water bottle just cannot fit in there. Well, it kind of can. Nice and tight, I guess. I didn't know it would. That's on either side of the bag. Then on the front of the bag, two these magnetic pouches, okay? And I actually really like this. Now, when you're dealing with uh, rain, not the safest spot, but at the same time, it's also not, like this flap hangs down, and I think you're kind of well protected. Like, not well, well protected, but like, more protected than you'd think you'd be. You got two of those, all right? I use this one for, on the right side is always where my headphones go, all right? So I got my headphones in there. I just use the corded ones. Uh, and my Bluetooth guys. And then over here, I don't actually have anything right now. If it's sunny outside a lot, I might put my sunglasses over here potentially, but right now I've got them inside the bag. Then behind those pockets is a zipped pocket, all right? Inside the bag, you can see there's this gorgeous yellow. I mean, it's not that it's gorgeous. It's that it feels really, really nice. And it kind of sets up off the fabric and the canvas. It just looks nice. It feels really nice. It feels like Louis Vuitton or something like that. But like an Indiana Jones version of Louis Vuitton. That's important. It's not just like fancy. It's like a kind of considered fancy, useful fancy. Okay, and inside here, I actually have my I always need you, but I never want to see you pack. You can see my other videos for this. I just have dongles. I have cords, extra cords. I have a headphone splitter, things like that in here. And it just kind of barely fits in there. So I don't mind sort of shoving it in and it's gone. I never need to never need to see that, never need to interact with that on a daily basis. It's just sometimes I need that. Okay, now on the top of the bag, you have two zippers. This front one goes to the whole main compartment. This back one also goes to the main compartment, but right over where the laptop is. So it's like where you'll go when you need just to quickly access your laptop and tablet. Okay, one of those little thoughtful designery considered moments that you're gonna have with this bag when you need to just reach in and grab your laptop. Super dope for that. Most of the time in use, however, I end up going through this because I can get my laptop out pretty easily just through that way. And I've got um, my, normally when I get to where I'm going, I've grab my charger as well. So um, on the top of the bag is, uh, is uh, two pouches. I put my charger, oh look, some leather straps that I hadn't seen before. While I'm on that, the, uh, the zipper poles are this nice leather, just with a knot at the end. They've never come undone. Something like that would be kind of lame if it came done fairly often. They're, not, they're nice and tight. They, cut, they haven't come undone and they work really well. I like them as the zipper pulls. There's no metal zipper pulls anywhere on here, so the bag's relatively silent. And while we're on those zippers, I'll, I'll mention that the top zippers are sealed weather resistant, right? So they're water resistant zippers. It's not a perfect seal, but they are uh, nicely sealed against the weather for you. There's Velcro at the top of those pouches. So when you put something in, you can Velcro it closed to keep it closed. Then on this side, I've got my glasses. I put a couple pens right in there, my Apple pencil and the Tom Bin four color pen. Yeah, baby. And then that's where I throw my uh, Glyph Raid hard drive that I'm using for all of my uh, video editing and stuff like that. Keep all my work files on there. I'll put a link to that in the description. Might as well pull everything out here. Got my laptop, right? Pull that out. And then my iPad Pro, which this fits into a very nice plush padded uh, laptop or, or uh, iPad sort of place, tablet place. One of the nicer I've ever seen. And, and honestly, it's very rare that a tablet spot is big enough for my iPad Pro. So your smaller ones 
would be able to fit in there, obviously. And it's nice and padded and kind of has a fleece lining inside of there or something. So it's, even if it moves around a bit, it's still gonna be safe. All right, so then at the bottom of the bag, I've got my headphones in a little pouch, my closed ear headphones for video editing, and then just my my notebook. This is something that I have as sort of smaller, and maybe it's the one thing in here that I don't have a really great spot for. It could fit up in the front here, but I just don't like to get into that pocket very much. So I just throw it into the bottom of the bag and it ends up being fine. Now your capacity on this sucker is probably a little bit more than like your air, uh, I'd say quite a bit more in this pocket than your air work collection day pack, for example, your brown buffalo conceal daily carry style packs, the air fit pack, you've got You've got a nice amount of space in here to fill in with a with a lunch or a uh, sweater or a rain jacket or something like that. Now, this bag also comes in a briefcase version, which I'll show you in another video. But I just wanted to show you this one and let you know about one of my favorite, favorite daily carries of all times. How about some bags that you might wanna look at instead of or, or related to or compared to this bag? I mentioned the Air Work Collection Day Pack. This is a great place to look. I've got a video on that. Check the information button or something, which should be happening right now. There should be a little information thing. I don't know, hopefully there is. Check the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack for a little more of a street or urban vibe. I've got a review on this one, one of my favorite daily carries, particularly because it's not quite as baby boomery as this one. Um, I love this bag. I love all of the, I love everything about it, but the look is, I also like this look a lot too. I like the feel and the aesthetic, I like the feel of this bag. I prefer the feel of this bag to the feel of this bag, but I like the look of this bag. Now, the only other bag that I think on the list that, that feels as considered and thoughtful and as well designed, a lot more stark and minimalist than this, is the Evergood CP Pacific Panel Loader 24 liter. This is a review that I have coming out and I unfortunately can't share it yet because they're just out of bags right now. I will continue to harp on them to get more of these bags in because it's for sure one of my favorite daily carries to feel the materials, all that stuff. So review coming shortly. This is the dope bag for a little more of that. Again, like kind of tactical, kind of urban, kind of street looking bag, but it does your fingers feel like good on this like they do on this. They feel better. It feels better over here, I'll be honest. The density of the materials, the softness of the leather, the but like the but like also the 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 robustness, the sort of the like I'm going to be here for a lot longer than you are-ness of these materials feels more natural, more earthy and more and yet looks quite sophisticated. This definitely is a little more uh a little more I don't know, tactical, a little more um kind of bro -y. Uh For something completely different, you could check out the Baron Fig, which is uh, actually not that completely different. Same boxy look, nice city, urban vibe. This is this is like, this is kind of like the millennial, the younger, I, I don't like the word millennial, the younger equivalent to this. This is what the kids are into. This is like a step up from Herschel. And this is what like the coolest dads are into. And the Synapse. 25, okay? This one is a lot more daddy, uh, dad-ish or whatever, but dope, tons of organization, one of the best possible backpacks you could ever buy because of its usefulness in so many situations. Okay, I'll put a bunch of links to those below. Um, these guys are great. I love what they're doing, the Waterfield Bolt backpack. I'll follow this up with a review of their over-the-shoulder bag. Um, check them out. Listen, if you click the links below in the channel, it supports this channel, actually not for Bolt. I keep trying to get them to get an affiliate relationship with me because I just think their bags are so great, but they just don't do it. You guys know that when you click links here, it supports the channel uh, and sometimes, not with, not with these guys, but uh, don't let that keep you from getting this amazing, beautiful heirloom of a backpack. Okay, you can check out more bags like this at bagworks.co. I'll put a link below to more daily carry bags. Some of my top, my favorite daily carry bags. No matter how long in the future you're gonna be watching this video, I will try my best to keep that list updated. You can go to bagworks.co to check that out or click the link in the description. All right, y'all, whatever your work is, get your work shirts on, get dressed up for it. 
and get into it and take it seriously. I hope you're having fun in your life and you're making good choices. Take care of yourself and be good to each other. I have been Chase Reeves. Bye-bye. Backworks.co ChaseReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, where I guess so. Must to, hmm. I guess go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.